This one looks like a female. Notice the nose are more white than this one, maybe, yeah? Mm hmm. We say we will keep them for two weeks again. But now, I don't know the one. Yeah. Alright, so good night. We're here in the Northern Range on some private property where we're gonna release these manikus, these juveniles that we collected from Karapi Chaima. There's six juveniles here, five females and one male. And there's a lot of fruit trees around. And don't mind the dogs, they aren't gonna do the articles or anything. So we have a good friend Kyle here. Recommended. Good enough, good enough. We um release them on this plum tree right here. Put this one here. <laughs> the next one. Dude, it's eager. <laughs> when I'm when I be ready to come off more. <laughs> So I'm going and he's still there. Yeah. Yeah. This is number five. See, runt. So very smooth. We'll carry this last one by the mango tree. Mm -hmm. All right, so the maniku as we locally know it is also known as the black-eared opossum Didelphus marsupialis and these animals are not rodents but in fact they are marsupials meaning that uh, the females would have a pouch in which she would carry her young until they are able to fend for themselves so this one here is actually the male and he doesn't have the pouch for me to show you guys but um they feed on practically anything. They're omnivores and scavengers. So any type of fruit, animal, even any sort of scraps that even people may leave by, they would go and actually eat. So they're actually good for the environment in a sense. Because they clean up after us. Similarly to vultures. And we spend most of their life, lives on trees. Primarily nocturnal. And they normally have a prehensile tail, but his siblings fought with him and bit off part of his tail. So he wouldn't have that appendage, but he'd still be able to survive. So the reason we chose private property for these is because they were raised, well, humans raised these animals, so they already come towards humans as a. You know, they don't fear humans, so if we probably let them go somewhere in the forest where other people have access to, there's a chance that they may have been killed because of their lack of fear for humans. So, Kylie, I can guarantee that these animals won't be interfered with. Um, yeah, they'll be safe, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 